Pitco Battery of Fryers. There's a story, but they're saying that the filter pump doesn't work. There's a reset there. Um, the story is, oops, they left it running for half an hour one day. Try. So that's a good way to burn it up. Alright, let's we'll see what we got here. Alright, so that should turn on the pump and it's not. Nobody understands how hard you have to push these pump resets. See what's going on with that if it's locked up what i can do is i hate these auto filtering systems all right stand by i'm gonna drop this oil all right press this it says filter plan in place and empty yes yes and now what's gonna happen is Gonna turn this off. We're gonna filter. Yes. Starting filter. It's gonna open the drain valve. As you can hear that valve just open. All right. Now it's dropping the oil into the pan. Except for auto filter, which it's not gonna do because it's trip. I'm gonna turn this on. Okay. dry here. Nope, so that pump just tried to pump fire and it couldn't and it tripped its breaker. The, uh, the pump's locked up. So we got something in the impeller or something. The pump just 100% tried to run and could not. Nope, you hear it? Nope, and it's done. All right, let's take a look. Maybe we can get that impeller off of it get it unseized. Also take a look, there's an oil level line. This is way high. All right, well, I'm trying real hard to not have to go through the official process, but that's where we are. I was trying to shortcut it, see if I couldn't just get it loose one way or the other, and I can't. So in order to drop this motor, what you have to do is unscrew this from here, which I already broke and started. Then you have to uh, remove the lower uh, three-way valve that's connected on the inlet side with a wrench over there. Drop this bolt and then these are the only pins holding it in and then this whole plate will drop down with the motor on it and everything. I couldn't show it very well from the front side as you start to drop the motor then it's just going to be held up by its hoses so you take off this lower manifold hose at a uh, at a flare connection and then there's another one at the pump there that's easier to get to if you drop the front so after much ado Here's our buddy. So there's a heat tape that lives on the system uh, so that the oil doesn't harden in there. So I still need to keep it close to the unit. So there's two bolts. There's one here and one on the other side. And that's gonna let the motor and the impeller separate, but we've gotta loosen the motor bolts there first. So uh, this is not gonna just swing off the motor. All right, now that we've gone through all the nonsense, I've got it plugged in and I've got the control switch plugged in. So when I pull the lever, yeah, she's still trying to start and not starting. So I have to separate the motor from the impeller and see if it's the impeller that's jammed up or if it's the uh, 
or if it's the motor fairings melted down. Eureka! So, now the question becomes, uh-oh, the impeller spins freely, which means you know, the skunk in the motor. It's gonna be the motor, man. Well, motors will tend to do that when you leave them to run dry for half an hour. Let me plug it back in. Here it is. Ready? Mounted bearings. Motor's dead. We were doing all this work in hopes that it wasn't melted bearings, but it is. So this is what she lives like until I get a new motor. I can't filter anyway. So, 